On this episode of Picker Road, it's a windy Taco Tuesday here in Las Vegas, and we're going to some estate sales. Then later, we're going to enjoy a delicious Mexican dinner. So what are you waiting for? Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband, Gary, and our son, Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. All right, so the wind has really kicked up here, and we found ourselves a moving sail. Let's see what we can find. Oh, look at all these cute Christmas stocking holders. A little, little bit early, but they're cute. <laughs> It's going to be here before we know it, probably. That's scary. Let's go inside. All right, let's see. We have some cameras and a dog grooming kit. And oh, look at this nice riding horse. He's so sweet. Hmm. Cute little trunk. Cute little trunk. Let's see what else we have. Oh, look at this little. Would you like to accept that on behalf of the Academy? I know, really, huh? And look at the cactus. Kind of like the cactus, too. Mm -hmm. Is there any artist on it? No, I'm trying to see. Yeah. They're definitely newer pieces. Huh. Definitely newer pieces and a little book. We always like these, but they've got to close really tight for the illusion. <laughs> Let's ask how much this little piece is. How much are you little... This oh. is on the, the, all the tables, what's on top and under there is $10. Oh, $10, I see. And the books are the three books for $10. Gotcha. I gotcha. And those one are the three books for 15 I gotcha. Okay. This has a light under. Are you thinking about that? I'm thinking no, about it. Switch on a light here. And over here we have a stone, soapstone carved incense burner. Put that down. We have a little elephant. Oh, look at him. He's, he's funny. He's, yeah. And these are, oh, this is a two for tot. Let's look at those cups over there. This is a two for five table. Yes, it is with the showing on the side. Can I see the other one? I think those are really nice. People love these little covered ones for their tea. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to pick these up for sure. sure. Those see are nice. Glass heart there? Yeah, I'm getting there. All right. Where's, where's Gary? Right behind you. And, here's, and here we have the, what does that one say? Adventure is out there. Is that saying you want that? Is that, is that, is it supposed to be like yeah, that? Yeah. So, but I, I'm, I didn't want that if you wanted that. And here's the little heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a dollar, I think we'll take it. I want to take those. All right, so we're getting these down. These two? Yes. Yes, please. Get, the they've got lids. Fragile. We've got little that guy. We've got oh, an abalone, abalone shell. It's, Is that only a dollar? Yeah, I'm going to get that. I might get that if you're not getting that. No, I'm going to get it for jewelry. Very good. Absolutely. And, oh, let me look at the fan. Are you a fan? I'm a, I'm a fan of some fans. Ah, it's very simple fan. Pretty. And it's made in, it's probably made in Japan. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Will with Picker Road, here to talk about whatnot. Whatnot is an amazing online platform where we get to interact directly with you while selling some of our treasures. We've been on Whatnot since this channel started, and it's so much fun. We do shows frequently like the one that's upcoming. Here are the details for it. We hope to see you there. Now we found an estate sale, and the wind again is really kicking up. So I'm so glad this one's going to be inside. Right, right off the bat, we have some paintings down here. Gainsborough Schoolboy. Mm hmm. Hi. Let's see. Let's head right over to here and see what this table holds. 
Um, this looks like an, an older piece. It's got some age on it. What is this right here? Perfume bottle? I believe it is. I like that piece. We'll find out how much. I don't see any prices on anything, so let's look and then find out. What is that? Oh, I thought that might have been a, a little bluebird. It's just a little stopper. It doesn't fit in there, does it? No. Sometimes those stoppers are great. I'm going to ask how much it is. I like to have extra stoppers in case you find a bottle without one. You can kind of make it. Let's see. Does that go in there? Nope. There's another stopper. They're everywhere. Let's see what other little treasures we have here. Aww. Look at that face. So cute. These little guys. I'm always looking for the Artesania Rinconada. Those are so popular, those little pieces. I like that donkey there, but it looks like his ear is broken. I know. I've had this piece. Yeah, he's cute. I've sold Too that nice. one before, but he is broken. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave that. We can ask about these pieces. Let's see. We're seeing more shells, aren't we? Let's see what else we have over here. This looks like a vintage little nightlight. They went 25 on that. And we have some... Car Avon. decanters, yeah. These are all Avon. For Avon sure. decanters. Let's look over here. See what we've got. All looks like a lot of fireplace tools. Somehow I just don't think of fireplaces with Vegas. Certainly not the kind that you need a lot of tools for. Maybe the ones that are electric with the mm -hmm. the um, different colored flames that aren't aren't really real. Little brass little brass cricket box. That brass, not not today, but but I'll keep it in mind. What is it? Rhodes Studio Arts That Endure. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's hmm. Really? Well, I'm not going to say whether I think that's art that will endure. But underneath, that's um, that's a more modern piece, but it's painted to look like it's more 19th century maybe even 18th century look to it. Very Pennsylvania Dutch. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what else we can find. All right. We look like we have Mr. and Mrs. Santa down here. Everybody has Christmas out all year round. And it's always good to look for Christmas as long as you can find the real vintage. And this looks like Fastoria. We went 10 on these each. And look at that. It kind of, I don't know if you can see this, like, kind of has like a purple, purple tone to mm -hmm. it. That's probably because it's been in the sun mm -hmm. and it's turning purple. Is that piece. We have some dishes. I thought they were all hanging dishes. And let's see what else. Little hanging dishes. All righty. I'm not seeing anything right here. Another table over oh, here? Oh, yeah. Look at Gary's already found another table. I. Nothing worked. Yeah, I have to presume that we'll have to, we'll have to ask. Oh, that looks like it's, no, I don't know if that's cracked. I mean, it might just be a, a mold problem. Look at this little piece. I thought maybe that was Fenton. It's not marked. Put that back over here. What do we have here? Oh, a piece of Namaji pottery. It is um, Bryce, Canyon. Bryce Canyon, Utah. Is that? That's just in the glaze. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, certainly let's ask about that piece. Let's the see. Piece next to it. Where do I see that? This this oh, little one? The one? Oh, there we go. I didn't even see that one. Uh, what does that say? That says, says native clay. clay. It says New Mexico. Hold on, may I? It should be Namaji. Namaji, yes. We can ask about these. I thought this might be something you'd be interested in, mm -hmm. but it's extremely heavy. Yeah. It's probably lead. What is that? Can you reach that vase yeah, deal back there? It doesn't have anything on the bottom of it. Okay, so that looks like it's a hobbyist piece, mm -hmm. the way that is finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we should ask about these, these pieces and then uh, maybe move on. This is... 
I don't think this tray is old, but that's that famous white rock, hmm. famous, famous piece. All right, let's, let's ask about these pieces. Hmm, look at these teapots. They're very reminiscent of the gorgeous one that we have on Picker Road right now, pickerroad.com, but that one is a much higher quality than these. That's hand signed by it, the famous artist, it, of course. It is. Now come over here and look at this yes. real quick. Yes, what? So look at this big stein here. Oh yeah. So Rockwell International mm -hmm. is the um, company that manufactured a lot of the parts for NASA. Oh. So I saw, when I saw it, I saw Atlantis, Challenger, Columbia, oh, my goodness. Enterprise. Yeah. So flip it around. Yeah. And it's from the space shuttle program. Oh my goodness. It's really a fascinating piece. It is super heavy. Now it's oh. got a tag on the side there. What does that what say? What does it say? It says it is hand wash only 22 karat gold by Cap and Kent Co. Mm. I'm going to ask them how much that is. All right, let's do it. Look at these canisters. They went $25 for the whole set. I just want to see who makes these. Oh, and there's a teapot that matches it. Well, they're not, they're not marked, but they are so 80s, 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. maybe 90s. It's kind of hard, but the whole overall feel is, is vintage. Mm -hmm. um, and this, look, that, I think that matches also the yeah. Lazy Susan. Oh, look at the salt and pepper. Well, that's a pretty good deal, actually. It's $25 for all of it. You just have to have a kitchen that matches. Oh, there. Yeah. What does that say? It's numbers. USA. Huh. So it is definitely, definitely a vintage set. It mm. doesn't, it doesn't speak to me though. So I, I don't want to entertain getting it, but definitely fun. And look at this over here. Look at that rooster. Aww. Now that's plastic, but I think he's older. Mm. I really do. It's very, very interesting to see these time capsules of life and look at all these tins somebody collected tins these are all more modern pieces probably collected over the past 20 years or so yeah this one from 96 olympics or older <laughs> that is an older one there hmm. look at this this is old look at little planters cocktail that needs a a good wash did you see the samagundi over here where ah yes these Salma Gundy tins can do quite well, but I think they have to be older, like the one I did have in the old Picker Road boutique that we sold. Mm. We sold very fast because very desirable. This one's a little bit newer, even though it's Salma Gundy. But why don't we take our treasures and uh, check out? There was some really loud music playing in the garage at this estate sale, so let's head right inside. Look at this. This entire set is vintage and they want $150. What a great pasta set. Oh, look at this poster. What is it? I liked it so much I almost peed my pants. Uh, Pirates of Penzance. Name uh, the movie. Of course, the famous movie with Julia Roberts. Leave it in the comments. I know you guys know it. Let's go inside. Look at those playbills, they're signed. Oh. I can't see that up there. I, I saw maybe the it's listing not there signed. there's gonna be a lot of Broadway stuff. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Look at that painting. All right, come on, let's take a look. Let's just start in. Um, so much to see. I'm seeing glassware. This is, for instance, this piece they want $20 for. Um, Hand-painted Royal Satsuma. And this one, this piece is from France, and they want $125 for that. So I'm seeing that things are a little bit pricey. They want $50 to $25 for all of these um, uh, Oriental. I think they're, I think those are Chinese statues. Um, they went $50 for that mug. So we can get a kind of an idea of what the prices are. Look at the little cottages here. These are each uh, shelf maybe is 25. 
each. Yeah. Oh, each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this bust here. Oh, look at these little boxes here. They look like they were made in Greece. They went $10 handmade in Greece. And what do we have here? We have what looks like Russian lacquerware. $5 for that little piece. Uh, I don't it know what that is. It was 8 euros originally. Yes, there you go. Um, this piece is $3. Does it say on the it bottom? It says it is Greece. handmade in Greece for $3 on that piece. Hmm. Oh, look at the snow globes. Givenchy? Givenchy Paris. Wow. Let's see. Oh, it's a musical. Um, it is made in China, but that's normal because they had them. They had them made. And what do we have up here? We have some glassware that, that's on there so I can pick it up. I'm looking and look at this little paperweight here. Let's see if this is Murano. Nope, not with that base. That's not Murano. And this one is just clear. Not signed. Nope, not signed. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just learned that many items are half price, so we can kind of reevaluate a little bit. I really like this bird dish. That is depression glass. And uh, so it'd be ten dollars. So it'd be ten dollars. So I think I'm going to think about that one. I like that. Look at this piece here. That's 60 though. Indiana glass. That Yes, that is Indiana glass. And look at this little henna nest. Let's see, make sure it's no, oh, it's, well, actually. That's just part of the mold? Yeah, see these molds were kind of rough, but I, I don't think that, it doesn't uh, do it for me. Let's look over here. All these pieces. Oh, look at these candlesticks. The koi. Those oh are quite my. amazing. The depression glass on those. Those are really nice. Those koi fish. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. I love the pink depression glass. Yeah. I think it's very beautiful. This piece is 50. So that anything over 50, though, is only 25% off, um, the, the gal was saying. All of this is half, she said. Oh, all of oh, this is gotcha. half. Okay. Mm -hmm. And back here, look at the berry set. I know. It's got a little bit of wearing off. Well, I was really thinking about this piece. I love it. But there's a really deep scratch in it. And I can feel it with my nail. So that's what I'm worried about. Hmm. So. All right, should we take a look in the kitchen? Yes, absolutely. Let's look at these little dishes here. That is hand painted. Little dish for a dollar fifty. Kind of like that. I think we'll get that hmm. for a dollar fifty. Can't hmm. go wrong. Look at these tiles up here. I oh, was just seeing that. Holland so that's, American. That's a cruise ship, but then look at this yeah. one here. What do you see? So the SS United States. Oh, they're all taped together. I was going to uh, look at them. I have a feeling they're all the famous steamships. They are, but the problem is when you pull that off, it yeah. could pull yeah. the whole deal. So that would be concerning. This is a box. Are those napkin rings? Is that what they are? Oh, you are right. Those are napkin rings. Too bad the box is broken because part of the presentation, I believe, is in the box. Mm -hmm. So let's keep looking and see. Oh, look at this. We have we have the queen, two dollars, her platinum. I think we should pick that up. Absolutely. We have a lot. Oh, wait a minute. Let's make sure that's okay right there. Is that a... Yeah, that's just smudge. Okay, very good. It's. I don't think it's ever been used. No, it doesn't look like it. It's got his tag on it yet. Yeah, let's pick that up. Oh, Definitely. Wow, look at these. What? these steins are from the Las Vegas Hilton. It hasn't been the Las Vegas Hilton in almost 15 years. Oh my goodness. And what is this? This is the Diamond Jubilee of, of the Queen also, I believe. So let's see. Oh, look at these. I think they mean that they're 25. Oh, 
This is Fiesta, the real, the real deal Fiesta. Two of them, two of the cups up there are damaged. It says. Yes. Oh, uh, look at this mug. This is a hand film. Look at the mountain with the moon. I love it. It is artist signed. That's really nice. Oh, I love that. That'd be a beautiful piece for Picaro.com. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start handing some goodies to Gary. There we go. And there. This will be good for our booth. All right. We're getting there. All right. So we have a lot more to look at. Let's get going. Look at this dish from Tiffany's. That is an oyster dish. It looks like it's absolutely from the turn of the century. Tiffany and Company, New York. Hmm. Look at that. I think I'd like to just take a moment and look that up. Now, my question is, mm -hmm. can you have oysters for breakfast? I think you can. Because then it would be breakfast on Tiffany's. Mm-hmm. Well, I was correct that this is a very, very good plate. Again, look at that where it says, they were, take a look at that mark, Tiffany and Company, New York. Um, if you see anything with that on it, you probably want to grab it. Uh, this is very, very old. It, I believe it is um, turn of the century or earlier, and a, a set of four sold at auction for seventeen hundred. They want three hundred for this, so they're even below retail really on it. But there is only one, and I think a lot of times the value is in a set. Uh, but that's a beautiful, beautiful plate. These busts are bookends, I believe you could use them as. Of course, it's Dante and his love, Beatrice. Remember when we were uh, in Tuscany, in Florence, we saw where Dante lived? Well, and we went to where he's buried, right. and people still leave love notes there. Right. Now, they're asking $100 for the pair, 50% off, or... No, so 125 so it'd make it $75. However, we looked it up, and they are offered right now an offer up for $40 for the pair. Mm -hmm. So that's where, when you're, when you're shopping, you've got to know your values. Let's look at over here. I'm kind of revisiting these items because now that we know things are, you know, 50% 50% off of anything mm -hmm. under $50. He's a hoot. So, yeah, he is a hoot. And is that Belique? It is. Oh. It is Belique. So he would be a $10 Belique owl. And this one is also, I can tell you that's Belique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's their famous right. pattern. Now, I haven't seen the owl before. Let's go ahead and take him in and look him up. Well, he... Anywhere around twenty dollars is what he sells for, so I don't really want to buy in at ten with fees and everything else. So he is good, but we're going to leave him. So now this this piece here it looks like they're asking fifteen, so that would be seven fifty. Let's take a look at that. I do like the colors on that, but look at that. It's not for when you see things like decorative use, not for food use. You really are thinking about things like home goods or Ross or something. Mm -hmm. So, well, I think we've looked through this section. Let's go ahead and see what they have in the other rooms. These are quite heavy. Look at these gorgeous Televera hanging wall planters. They're marked on the back and they're absolutely fabulous. I love them. So, got two of them. Here's our pile. We're, we're moving along. Okay, now we're in another room, and oh, look over here. Is this, let me see, who, who is the artist on this? Yes, it is. It's John Perry. I thought so. You can always spot John Perry's work. It usually has any kind of dolphin and some seabirds and everything on this really nicely done wood. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Right in there, you can see the John Perry name. Yes. You always want to look for that. Mm -hmm. they, they do sell. Okay, let's keep looking. Oh, look at these little paintings. Rue Royale, I'm guessing that's New Orleans. I probably, I'm trying to see this one. This is a tile, it looks like. Let's put it under the light. Lafayette's 
blacksmith shop. What does that say up on the top? I there? don't know. There's some some uh, markings. Anything on the back? <laughs> oh, about the artist, Bourbon Street in New Orleans, and there, Sylvia. Sylvia Kay, the creative director, has over 25 years experience in fine art reproduction and finishes and just tells about her accolades. She uses acrylic paints and shading and so forth. So there we go. Nice. Very nice. And let's keep going here. Oh, what is this? That's the Titanic. I thought so, and you're not looking at that? It's an oversized postcard. The funny thing is, mm -hmm. I saw that exact postcard at the uh, shop in the Luxor that Tyler and I went to just a few days ago. <laughs> but I think it goes with this, because this is something from a ship. Large, what is this? Oh, it's, oh my gosh, that's heavy. Uh, vintage, large, cast iron, painted oh, here, up here. ship. It's this. Oh, it's that. Then and what is, is that the base for it? Oh, is that what that is? Okay. I think it's the base for it. There you go. Those are the waves. There we go. We got there. I'll put it up like that. That way it's kind of a little the more. There's Titanic hanging there. It's an ornament. Oh, yeah. There we go. But then look at that. Uh, look at that um, metal sign there for the Titanic. For three dollars, I'm going to pick that up for All sure. Right. And if it's half price, yes, even more. And here's a little painting. Dad, would you mind getting that off the wall? The Titanic sign. And look at the little Civil War. Okay, say that. Ses Sesquicentennial. I knew you would be able to do it. 150 years. And this is a nice book for music. Mm -hmm. And the piano is a make offer. Ah, there we go. All right. For $1.50, that's great. And let's see what else we have. Look at over here. Little, another little painting. Again, reminiscent almost of a Grandma Moses. A Day at the Hermitage. Hmm. Art McCor. Hmm. Of course, the Hermitage is where Andrew Jackson lived. Mm -hmm. And over here we have some little, little kind of Civil War figures. Three ninety-five. <laughs> look at the look on his face. That's a very sad time. Okay, Hearst Castle. We've been there many times. Mm -hmm. And oh, look at this little painting here. What is that? Let me see. That's a tile again. Look at the boat. I like that. What is that? I really like that piece. How much is it? it doesn't have a mark, and I'm going to ask. That is a painted tile. I don't see a signature, but that is so mid century. I just like the colors. This intrigues me too. It does not have a price tag on it. What does it say? It is obviously off of a ship. Let's show. It's Captain's okay. and Crow's Nest plaques. Mm. I think I'm going to ask about that. All right. You ask about that, and I'll ask about this. Oh, look at these, these wood pieces. I like the St. Louis arch. Look at that. And what else do we have? What is, what is this gentleman? Hmm. He looks like he's an alien. Mm -hmm. What is he? Any ideas, Will? I have no clue. Does he have any markings on his neck maybe? No, he looks like an alien. Is he a disc? He is, well, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He, I swear, he's supposed to be, I think, an alien masquerading as one of us. Um, I gotta say, this mouse has seen things. I know. I was getting up to him. What is he? He's a shell. Oh, my goodness. And he has seen things. He has seen things. I don't want to do it. I have so many little shell creatures, and I have to fix some of them because they just kind of fall apart. How about that Look Liberty Bell? Does it have a bell in it? It does. Mm. He's a Liberty Bell. And let's see what this elephant is. Oh, he's missing a, missing a tusk. We've got a bell there. Again, bells aren't that popular now, but I was looking up at this fellow. That's supposed to be George Washington? Uh, certainly one of his troops. Or a redcoat, actually. Yeah, certainly one of his people. And uh, he's kind of interesting, isn't he? He's very folky. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick him up. I think he's very folk art. And I think I like him. Yeah. So let's grab him. Oh, uh, let's see what else we have. 
Now, these are always so well done, but they just don't seem to sell for anything right. anymore. I know. Mm. All right. Well, let's keep moving on. Let's go to another room. All right. So now we're in a new room. Let's see what we've got in here. More art. Ooh. Always love to see more art. This is an old piece. Let's take a look at that. That is a very old piece. Look at the back of it. Mm -hmm. You can just tell the age on that. The colors almost feel like a Maxfield Parish. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. I would love to find a Maxfield Parish. Look at this piece here. That's interesting. Do you think that's from the Luxor? Um, I'm or not, do you think it could be from Egypt? It could actually be from Egypt. Obviously, it's not. Old, old, but okay, let's see what we have here. That's a, an original watercolor. Uh, Daphne's framing. Dupre framing. Dupre. Uh, I'm trying to see the name on it. Some of these ones are just so hard to read. Let's see what else we have. Look at this piece here, hanger not included. Let's see what this is. Look at that. That's There's no glass on that. That's just a print. And oh my goodness, who, who would leave wrappers? Terrible. Okay, let's see what we have here. That is, I think that is an original. Custom framed, yeah, sure. In 1975? We are. I think that, now it says pear, but I don't see its mate. Over there. Oh, you think that's the mate? Can you canvas that one, please? Let's see that. It's got to be. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I think that is its mate. Oh, and there's the signature right there. And I think that says William Weber. Let's take a look on that. So we looked it up, and we can't find anything on this artist. So I think we're going to leave these for, for someone else and keep on going. All right. So this is what they're calling the Christmas room. It's beginning to look a lot like it. It is. Well, let's see. We have... A wood Santa. Oh, look at the mouse. Aw, it's so cute. Jean Daddy? Mm hmm. I don't see a price on him. Oh, I do like him, though. He's pretty cool. Oh, he is that. a signed piece. So, Gary, would you hold on to this one? We're going to ask how much he is. And look at these. Aren't they fun? Mm. Look at them with the little scenes inside. Uh -huh. How much are those, I wonder? Those are fun. They are new, though. I don't think they're vintage. Look at these for Halloween. They would be fun, huh? I try. What is that? Oh, it's a bat. It's a bat. Do you think those would be fun for Halloween? Uh, sure. How much are they? So they'd be a dollar. Uh, why not? I'm going to have all this holiday stuff put away. Let's look over here. Look at these little villages. I like the cars. Mm -hmm. $75 for the set. Hmm. Look at that piece there. Again, that looks very Indonesian. So we found this really fun little, I believe it's Tanala manger nativity set. Um, really great. Absolutely. Going to get that. And we're just looking at all the other little nativity sets that they have. I, nothing else interested me like this, except let's see what this is. Hmm. I kind of like that. Any signature on the back or anything? No. No, it's, it's a little, it's just a hair too rough. Mm. It's almost there. Just not quite. Let's keep going here and just see if they see anything else. Look at that little tiny one. How precious. Anything else here? Like Kachina? Uh, that would be a totem pole. totem pole. And that's $5. Let's see. It's from Alaska. It's a souvenir piece. Gotcha. We'll put that there. And let's see. Anything else? Well, I think that, I think that one, look at this, made out of a coconut. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that fun? Wow. Very fun. Now, that one is signed from 1994, mm -hmm. but it seems to be missing the baby. Aww. So I think we'll get this set. So we'll have Gary carry that out, if you would, and uh, move on. He's a trucking with that big uh, bin. Gary, what do you have? Turn around. 
Look at all that. Woo! There he is. All that for how much? Thirty-three dollars. Wow. Because we got half price on so many items. That's fantastic. Yeah, really fun, vintage quality items. Look at this. Look at this vintage painting on tile. Is that not gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Look, you can feel the waves. Look at that framing. It's absolutely beautiful. Look how old that is. Yeah, that's something. Absolutely gorgeous. This beautiful. Isn't at all. Okay, <laughs> bye. Run, run. <laughs> After a fun day of picking with some really interesting finds, we're getting into the spirit of Taco Tuesday by having dinner at Poncho's in Summerlin. This place is so cool. It feels like you're in a real cantina south of the border. Check out this peach margarita and warm chips and salsa. Yum. We're also enjoying enchiladas, tamales, and of course, tacos. Well, we chow down. Let's recap all of today's finds. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you always know when an episode premieres. Also, please check out PickerRoad.com where you can purchase many of the fun items we've found on our adventures. Lastly, please leave a comment. We read all of them and we love interacting with you because we always want you to join the journey.